Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to get a little bit more complex around how you can build upon lots of different techniques in Power BI to extract quite specific insights into your data. Now, in this example, what I'm going to showcase is, well, how can we identify or how, how can we isolate the margin growth or more specifically the top salespeople for their margin growth? So if you think about how general your data sets will be in a lot of cases, it, would, it takes you a few steps to actually find this insight. Because first of all, you might only have what your total sales are and what your costs are to produce that. So first of all, you've got to work out, okay, well, what are my profits? Then you've got to work out, well, what are my profit margins? Then you've got to work out, well, what is what were my margins at some period in the, in the past? And then you've got to work out, well, what's the change? And then you've got to then work out, well, who are the, what's the top people? Who, what, what were the biggest changes versus the smaller changes? And in this case, we want to isolate the top changes and try and identify, is there any common ground or are there, are there any common salespeople that are continually gr growing their margins? Or what is a, another insight could be, well, what is the average increase in margin over, over different time periods? Like how far can people grow their margins? So there's all these great insights, right? And that's why Power BI is seriously so amazing, is that you can start from quite general information and then using DAX, the DAX language, you can really branch out. And that's, that's this concept of measure branching. You can really branch out into this more advanced stuff um, and then and then overlay even more advanced logic on the top of it uh, to then extract just the insight that you want. And so when I developed this, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna start with this one concept. I'm, I wanna find out my I want to look at my salespeople, and I only want to identify the top five for margin growth in any time period. And, and, and in, in this case, it's actually quarterly growth as well. And so that was very specific, right? But I started, I'm starting, if we go look at the data model, I'm starting with a very general data model here. I mean, all that we have is we've got, say, uh, we've got a few lookup tables. I use this in a lot of demos that I do, this data set. But we've got customers, salespeople, products, location, dates, and sales. Now let's go look at our let's go and have a look at our sales table, and I'll show you what I started with. I'll show you what I started with. This is the only information I have in my sales, so it's really hardly any information, right? And so from this, without doing anything to the model, any calculated columns or anything like that, I was able to extract this insight and really drill into this very specific piece of insight. Um, that showcases some pretty interesting stuff, right? Uh, and is um, very relevant. You could set up, you know, you could reward people who increase their margins. You know, just total automation over this very specific insight, which historically would be very difficult or would take a very long time to actually generate. And the great thing about it is it's also dynamic. So I can go look historically. It's just, you know, it's amazing what you can actually, you know, you can actually extract and how quickly you can do it. Okay, so I'm just going to walk through the steps uh, in which I use to actually create it. And just a reminder, if you want to download this resource and, and see this technique and also all the other techniques uh, that I've utilized in many other videos, you can actually uh, download all of these. All it requires is just a really small investment. You can uh, check it out in the description below. Okay, so first of all, obviously, we have to calculate our total sales and total costs because somehow I've got to get to total profits, right? So let's just have a look at how I did that. Uh, and this is very similar to other videos. But uh, we've used iterating functions here. So I've gone, go and, I've, I've said, go look at the sales table, go times every single row, uh, go and multiply every single row, the quantity in the sale by the actual price. And that price is actually sitting in the products table. And then I've done exactly the same for costs. I've gone, go and count, uh, calculate quantity times every single, um, the cost of every single um, item that we've sold. And then this is where the measure branching comes in. I've, I've worked out, okay, well, what were my profits? And all I've had to do is go total sales minus total costs. And then that gives me my profits per whatever, because we can utilize profits with anything in our data model, any dimension. We could look at salespeople, location, so on and so forth. Okay, but now we need to work, work out what our margins were, right? So what were our margins? Well, margins are going to branch out again, and we're going to go total profits divided by total sales. So that's going to give us our profit margin. Again, the profit margin can be used on any dimension because we've got this data model in the background with our relationships that can utilize any of the you know, dimensions of, of any of these tables. And now that I've got margins, right, now I can work out 
well, based on, sorry, based on the filters I've got here, so I can place filters, say, from the date table, and that's going to isolate margins for, for say, every salesperson, which I've got here. But now I want to work out what were my profits, my profit margins last quarter. So from whatever quarter I've got here, so I want to, so I've got quarter three, 2017, I want to look at, I want to be able to calculate in that quarter, what were my Q2 margins? Now, how I did that, is I use the date add function. I've showcased this many times, but this is my favorite time intelligence function because it just makes you know these sort of um, calculations so easy. So all I've done is I've gone, we'll go and have a look at what your profit margins were last quarter. So I put in minus one and I've used um, quarter there. Okay, so now if you think about it, we've got profit margins for whatever context within whatever context we select here. So I've got 2017 Q3. I've got my profit margins from last quarter. And now if I wanted to identify the growth, right? If I wanted to identify the growth, well then all I've got to do is branch out from there. I've got to go, I've got my profit margins here and my profit margins here. And so if we look at this table here, you see that that now is being calculated. The change is being calculated uh, for every single salesperson. So we've, brand, we've got to about the fourth, maybe fifth branch here, right? And now we want to go one step further because if we if we look down this table, we've got a number of different salespeople. Well, I want to break out. I want to break out just my top five. I want to see just my top five, and then that, that makes it um, a lot easier to place a visualization inside of a report page or a dashboard I might be creating. And then I, I placed in this logic where I went, okay, so calculate my margin growth, but only calculate it for the top five salespeople, and that's what this top end is doing. And then what values does is it actually brings back the salesperson, a salesperson name context, which gets removed from here. So this is just a small addition that you need to place into your formulas. But what that does is then if you look at, look at the actual results here, it actually blanks out everything which is not in the top five. So that's how we create these visualizations which only have, say, top N or top five, top seven, top 10, etc. And then, so then, and then over here, I've got a table and then I've got a visualization, both exactly the same thing. So this is now isolating those top five customers by margin growth. So what I wanted to show you here is how, I mean, this is just certain why Power BI is, is just so awesome, is that you can start with quite simplistic data and do and branch out one after the other and then really isolate things uh, right at the end. So, so margin growth, it didn't even exist anywhere. Like there's nowhere in any data that from our original state that this calculation was being done. We needed to use DAX formulas to create, right? Uh, create some, in this case, it's not that difficult logic, but all we've done is branch one on top of the other and then we've eventually got to our results, put it inside a visualization and then it gives us a really good insight. Uh, it could be one part of our dashboard. Yeah, if it's not this, if it's not the main thing that we want to focus on, then we can just make it a small part of our report or dashboard. And then within Power BI, you've got it dynamic, right? So it's going to obviously change for whatever uh, you know time frame you know we want to uh, evaluate it in. Okay, so I'm going to round things off there. Just wanted to showcase you know, these many different techniques I've utilized inside of this one insight, but yeah, it's, just, it's just so powerful, you know, the insight, the, the very, very specific insight that could be the key, you know, one of the key metrics to success in, in a business, in your business, um, you know, that's how you can get there within Power BI. Okay, best of luck uh, utilizing uh, these techniques in your, in your own environments. Uh, wish you all the best. Uh, if, if you like the video, if you like the content, um, throw us a like, really appreciate it. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe for uh, new content every, every weekday through Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, signing off. Speak to you soon.